just taking a quick look at this new R3500 from All Powers, and this is coming right off the launch of the R600, which was a, a unit I just took a look at recently, and I was very impressed with the, all the specs for such a small unit, and the design as well. Very good design, and you can see now why, why they invested in this kind of new design, because they're planning on using it for all their models, right? So that's just a good idea, and obviously this one now is kind of the opposite end, right? This is kind of going to be like the, the top of the the top of the heap right this is the the big full size unit and this is a full modular system so in this image here they're basically showing these are the main units kind of sitting on top and then these are the expandable batteries and then we do also get a transfer switch we'll kind of talk about more of the, the specs on all of these things here in a little bit and then we also actually get uh, micro inverters for solar as well so this is like a complete system now just to kind of give an example here because they do have like a million different bundles that you can get um, just check, take a look at this one right here. Basically, this is the main unit plus two of the expandable batteries. And we're talking about 9,500 watt hours, almost 10 kilowatt hours in this system, right? And, uh, you know, 3,500 bucks. So uh, basically, you know, this is a, a, you know, a super, super early bird. This is like the top deal, right? But um, just to kind of give you an idea, the, the cost on this thing, is, is, it's, it's very impressive. And this thing's got crazy expandability. You can basically hook up up to 15 of the expandable batteries to each of the main units. And then, you know, if, if you get the home panel system, the parallel system, um, then basically, you know, it's 15 and 15. So <laughs> up to 30 uh, expandable batteries on the, the two main units which will give you over 100 kilowatt hours. All right, now just to jump into the specs here real quick, we do get for the inverter 3,200 watt output on each unit. And then, you know, when you if you do the whole parallel thing, you can actually up that up to um, 7,000 watts for 240 volt outlet or 6,400 for the 120. And they do have this thing available for basically all the major markets. And, you know, the specs will vary just a little bit depending on which, you know, which region it's, it's going to. And then for the charging, we do get uh, 2,000 watts going in basically either from the wall or from solar. And then you can actually double those up for 4,000 watts at the same time. And the specs are pretty good on the solar. It's, it's actually up to 150 volts. Um, that's 12 to 150 volts and 40 amps. So this is pretty good. You know, you can get a lot of solar going into this thing. And then obviously if you get two units, you can kind of, you know, double that as well. Now they are using LFP batteries with this thing and they're, they're actually claiming this as a new tabless design, which basically just, you know, it, it makes the connection to the power station just a little bit more efficient. And in theory, you know, as far as manufacturing, it should reduce costs as well. So that's just another reason why they're able to kind of bring you this, uh, this super good deal, right? And they do say these things are self-heating as well. Now, they don't give any kind of details or specs on this, like, you know, what, what kind of temperature range this activates in and stuff like that, or if it's an automatic system. But, you know, they do mention that. And then the same story with the UPS. So they, it does have UPS, and they're claiming 15 millisecond switchover, which is good stuff. But they don't actually say, you know, up to how many watts this is for. And that, that's kind of something you'd want to know, right, on a big system like this. Now, for the weight of this thing, this is kind of the, you know, the disappointing part, but it's not really a surprise. Uh, 93 pounds you know, for the main unit and then 87 pounds for each of the battery. And what's interesting is that they, you know, all powers didn't decide to go with, you know, a more portable solution with, you know, built in wheels and a handle and stuff like that. So, so you are going to have to pick this thing up if you want to move them. So this is basically the, the parallel hookup and we do get up to 10 circuits on there. Now what's interesting too on the front here, as you can see, they actually have two little outlets. And basically one of them is a 30 amp outlet. Now this is just gonna be 3,200 watts. And then the other one is, is actually, um, you know, the 240. So this can do the, the full, basically 7,000 watts. And this is, you know, they're saying is an EV charger outlet or something like that. Now for the microinverter, I'm not gonna go through all the specs here. They basically have everything you'd wanna know up in this Kickstarter page. But the reason you'd wanna use a, a microinverter is say you've got solar panels all over the roof of your house and they're all facing different directions. So some are gonna be making max power, some aren't gonna be making much power. Basically, this micro inverter or, you know, multiple micro inverters will allow you to kind of string all those panels together and hook them just right up into this R3500. And then you don't got to worry about the, the panels that aren't producing much power kind of dragging down and limiting the amount of power that the panels that are capable of producing, you know, maximum power, if the ones that are in the sun. You don't got to worry about the two kind of uh, affecting each other. And they are offering an extended five-year warranty for Kickstarter. So, you know, this, this might, you know, put your mind at ease a little bit for jumping into this early. And as I was saying, it's just really disappointing that they went Kickstarter on this. They're, they're just using it kind of like a promotional thing because check a look, take a look at this. First batch production was actually made in February. So these things are already made. There's no, there's no need to crowdfund this thing. 
So, you know, and they're already actually on the on the way to the US as well. So I guess that could kind of be a good thing. You know, you're not going to be worried about, you know, when are you going to get this thing? But still, you know, you're, you're kind of taking a gamble, you know, you're getting a super good price, right? But you're still going to be getting one of the first batch units. And with the first batch, you know, you're obviously going to be getting an excellent deal with the, with the prices here. But just keep in mind, especially on a big system like this, you know, um, they are going to make updates to this thing. And so, you know, I don't always recommend going with the, the first uh, batch of production, right? Like, take a look at this. They even talk about this in the comments. You know, basically the, the fan on it right now is actually pretty loud. And they're talking about, you know, maybe um, putting a quieter fan on there, right? So, again, this is just something, you know, you kind of kind of got to debate. Are you going to pay more later, but maybe get a, an upgraded, updated model? But, yeah, that's the R3500, you know, a pretty capable system, a lot of good specs, a lot of good features, a lot of stuff that, you know, people are looking for with these kind of bigger uh, home backup systems, right? And just something you might want to take a look at. So hopefully you just kind of found this uh, video helpful or, or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.